Hello, we are going to solve problem 4.38 from Sadiku book. So the question is apply Tevenin's theorem to find P0 in the circuit of figure 4.105. So there are two steps to find out P0 in the in this circuit here. The first thing that we need to find out is to find out the Tevenin voltage. And then the second one is to find the Tevenin resistance. Okay, but we need to take out this V0 first. Okay, so maybe I will I will draw some I will take out that that V0 here, that 10 ohm resistor here, so that will become open circuit. Uh so make it with white and then on line like this so here we can we can find out this voltage open circuit voltage here as our tevenin voltage so this is v t h okay uh, but here we have this one ohm resistor but this is open circuit, so there are no currents that goes through here. So we can also take that resistor out. So let's do another box here. And then let's make it like this and put that as shorted here. Like this. So our goal is to find out this Tevenin voltage. Okay, let's let's use the bottommost node here as our ground here, and which this is the voltage here is zero volt. But then we know that this voltage here is twelve volt from the ground, so I will have twelve here. Okay, and what can we do from next? Maybe I will do KCL at this node here. Let's do KCL at this node first. VA. And let's assume the direction of the current. I just follow the arrow here. And then this is going down. This is going to the right. So let's start by doing KCL at node VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, that is good uh let's analyze now the only current that goes in is from this range here so i will have three ampere and then that will equal to this current is going out and that current is va minus 16 i mean va minus zero here and then divided by 16. good and then plus what else i will have va here but then it will go through here and then here this and we met with this 12 volt so i will have va minus 12 va minus 12 and then divided by the resistance between them 4 plus 5 that will be 9 okay i think that's all good now let's simplify this I think we can multiply this by 72, I think. Yeah, maybe 72 would work. No, no, 144. Yeah, I think we will multiply this by 144. So on the left hand side, I will have 3 multiplied by 134. 144 what is it 3 multiplied by 144 is 432 okay we'll have 432 here and then this will cancel into 9 so i will have 9 va minus 0 is va so i will have 9 va here and then here i will have 9 and 144 will cancel into 16 so i will have plus 16 and then VA 
minus 12. Okay, so far so good. Now let's break this down. So 432 is equal to 9PA and then plus 16PA minus 16 times 12, which is 16 times 12 is equal to 192. Good. Now this is equal to 25PA. And then on the left hand side, we will have 432 plus 192. So we will have 624. Therefore, we will have PA that will be 624 divided by 25. And the unit here will be volt. However, we are need to find out this VTH here. So we need to find out this part here, which is VTH. Now let's do KCL at the VTH. Okay, KCL at VTH. Remember that KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. So I will have VA minus VTH, which is VA is this one. 624 divided by 25. And then minus VTH divided by the resistance between them, which is 4. Good. Now, the current that goes out is this one. So we will have VTH minus 12 and then divided by 5. Okay, I think that's all good now. Now, what can we do? Mm, we solve for VTH, right? Uh, maybe multiply both sides by 20, I think. Let's do that. So we will have 5 and then 624 divided by 25 and then minus 5 VTH. And on the right hand side, I will have 4 VTH and then minus 48. So we will have 9 VTH. And that will equal to 5, 624 divided by 25 plus 48. Okay, so we will get our VTH. We just need to find out that, right? So this is as the numerator and this is as denominator. I just need to plug in into my calculator for that one. So I will have 5 multiplied by another fraction 624 divided by 25 and then plus 48 and then divided by 9 okay so we will have 19.2 volt okay so i have 19.2 volt and this is our vth good and this is just the first step of our problem we need to find out the Thevenin resistance okay let's save this value and clean up the board okay we have found out the Thevenin voltage now the second one we need to find out the Thevenin resistance okay we need to remember that we previously hide this resistor here but we need it back now and we need to see the Thevenin resistance from this point here. So our target is now to find out the Thevenin resistance from this point. However, we need to turn off our sources first. And what can we do from it? We short this voltage short and we open this uh, current source. Okay, let's do exactly that. And so we short this and we will have 
have short circuit here and then we open the that current source so we will have it like this good now we just need to find out the tethering resistance from this point so rth what is rth uh, i have one volt here so i have i mean one ohm and then that is series with a 5 parallel with 4 and 16 in series so you have 4 plus 16 okay let's do simplification so you have 1 plus 5 in parallel with 20 okay now we will have 1 and then plus 5 multiplied by 20 divided by 5 plus 20 good so we will have 1 and then plus we will have 100 and then divided by 5 plus 20 that will be 25 100 divided by 25 is 4 so i'll have 1 plus 4 therefore i will have the tethering resistance is 5 ohm okay now that is good because we have completed what is our tethering equivalent circuit now let's make the circuit back into the initial state so now we need to find out the v0 at this resistance here so our tethering circuit here is this one here so i will have 19.2 volt and then i will have the tethering resistance here which is 5 ohm okay that is good and the load here is 10 ohm resistor from this one so we will have it like this so i will have it like this this is our 10 ohm resistor and we need to find out v0 here and how to find that we can just use a simple voltage divider right so we will have v0 is equal to 10 divided by 10 plus 5 multiplied by 19.2 so we'll have v0 is equal to 10 divided by 15 multiplied by 19.2 therefore what is v0 i just leave it into my calculator so we will have 10 divided by 15 multiplied by 19.2 therefore i will have 12.8 and the unit here is a volt and i think that is the final answer for this question hopefully i did not make any mistakes in my calculation Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.